and they're off for the Kipco 2000 Guineas. Away well Dubai Mile in the center. High Royal Nose Bandit. Chaldean on the far side with flight plan and they're chased by Noble Style. Towards this near side, Silver Not Very Hand in the blue white cap. Uh, on the near side, Little Big Bear along with Royal Scotsman. Then Indestructible. August Rodan is just towards the rear. It got a bit tight there with Royal Scotsman. Sharon is pulling hard. Sakir is anchored at the back of the field. It's just High Royal that leads the way to Chaldean and Dubai Mile. Far side on the left flight plan along with Noble Style. Towards the right is Little Big Bear tracked by stable companion August Rodan. On the extreme right is Charon. Royal Scotsman hasn't really settled, probably hasn't had the best of runs. Then Indestructible held up today along with Holloway Boy, Galeron and Sack here is still at the back of the field. Hurtling then down the Roly Mar, they're inside the halfway stage, heading for the three furlong marker. And it's High Royal from Dubai Mile, Chaldean Farsight, Silver Knot with every chance. Then Little Big Bear, August Rodan now being asked to improve one from the right by Ryan Moore in the blue and orange jacket on the far side, trying to run on his noble style. High Royal wandering in front there from Chaldean, Chaldean with every chance. Royal Scotsman now coming through well on the stand side with Sakia, the favourite well beaten, both the O'Brien horses well beaten, they run into the dip Chaldean far side, High Royal just can't run straight, then behind those Royal Scotsman and Noble Style and Dubai Mile, Chaldean on the far side out in front, the Dewhurst winner in the hands of Frankie Dottori in his final season and he wins another Guineas, Chaldean wins it from High Royal, then Royal Scotsman tied for fourth Gatteron together with Dubai Mile and one other, also noble style on the far side, Chaldean wins the Kipco 2000 Guineas. Uh, it's the second Kipco 2000 Guineas for this man to my right, Andrew Balding. Huge congratulations, how are you feeling? Uh, brilliant, uh, you know, it's such a, you look forward to a race like this when you've won a Dewhurst, you know, for a long time now. and. Uh, just so exciting and uh, you know great for Frankie I mean what a wonderful ride he gave him and you know it's, it's just a, a, a fitting result yeah. it's better when he finishes the line on board <laughs> yeah sure he said he had Velcro and <laughs> super glue attached so um but no he gave him a terrific ride he's just a wonderful horse what, what, what was your feeling off the back of last time coming here what was it a negative for you I know it's obvious to say it's a negative but was it a negative for Chaldean or not well obviously not but I you, you don't really know I'd rather have done the race conventionally but um or had the race conventionally but uh the, the, the biggest relief was that he pulled up fine out of it and at least he got out and he had a little gallop and saw a bit of grass and you know so I'm not going to start a, a sort of a trend I don't think <laughs> no, no, probably not unusual preps yes yeah. um what take, take me through your feelings as, as the race developed were you always happy always happy yeah it was just always seemed to be looking like he was traveling comfortably I was just a little worried that you know Sheen was is a tough guy to get past yeah. and I was hoping someone else had been riding that horse, but uh, anyway, once he'd mastered him, I was then pretty confident. So. And, and as the rain was falling throughout the day, did you think that might be, I know he's got form on soft, but ultimately, did you think he might want a slightly sounder surface in a Guineas or not? Uh, it was a concern that he, you know, but he got, got the trip well in the round, so, uh, you know, I don't know why I was worried. Out and out miler? He might stay a mile and a quarter one day, but I don't think he'll stay any further than that. Okay. So Royal Ascot would be the likely next uh, it's, the, the, it's the logical step. Uh, I think he's had a hard enough race today, so he's in the Irish Guineas, but I, to me, I'd, I'd rather sort of wait for Ascot, but it's something we've got to discuss with the Javmont team. Well done. Thank you. Thanks. Frankie Dettori alongside me. He's had a little bit of time to digest now, winning his fourth, and it feels odd saying this, but his last Kipco 2000 Guineas. How do you feel? Uh, my emotions are all over the place. I want to cry, I want to laugh. Uh, it doesn't feel real. I don't know if I'm dreaming or, you know, I, you know, it's my last year to win a classic. I mean, to win a classic any time in your life is great. To win on my last year is phenomenal. My home crowd, my son's here, my wife's watching at home. Yeah, I mean, what can I say? Where do you start? I've had the chance to really soak it all up, but uh, yeah, now he's there, done. Did it feel different? knowing that obviously this is the, the last. Did it feel different, everything down at the start, your last ride in the Guineas, or, or did it just feel like normal? Funny enough, uh, I, I felt very relaxed. I don't know, because maybe uh, I don't have to worry anymore that this is my last season, you know, or maybe because I've done it so many times, or I don't know, I, maybe because I'm in a happy place. <laughs> so I really don't know, but I was very chilled. You know, it was, it was also with a chance, so I should have been a bag of nerves, but I was 
very chilled and yeah it just happened you know when I got to the top of the hill I thought I might just finish a good second here but then once I got rid of the Oshin I was I was able to really think it was all coming down on me saying is this really happening right and it was mad really absolutely mad the, the sensation that I got is like yeah really bizarre I can say that were you so you say you, you might just finish second I mean at, at what point did you did you think we've got this and I mean he, he he looked to hit the line pretty hard yeah well once I got to the bottom of the dip and he started to quicken it up I thought that's it you know uh, I, you know, I, I was able to really enjoy it because I knew I won. So it was, but it was like up to that moment I was having a good fight with the Sheen. Yeah. And uh, but anyway, it happened. And on that ground, you, I mean, you, you put him in the race from the gates, really. Listen, I, I stated this morning that it gave me a better feel at Doncaster on easing the ground than it did uh, in the Jewels. Then it was a Group One, so I was not concerned about the ground. I mean, a little cracks, man. He loved the soft ground, um, and most a lot of Francos do like a bit of cut in the ground. So when it started raining, it didn't bother me. The only concern when it does rain is it's going to test his stamina a bit more. But it showed to everyone today that uh, he's got no stamina problems. It's funny, isn't it? You go back. Obviously, the trial it was a disaster, and now you come <laughs> and now you come here and you you win a guineas. So it's just listen. Each race is different. The highs and lows are racing. Absolutely, that's I. Shamelessly, I rang Andrew Bold and I said, "Can I please come and sit on him before the Guineas?" Because I didn't get much of a feel first time. <laughs> yeah, it's one of those freaky accidents. Today's what matters, and we got the job done. Mm. Well done to all the Andrew Bolding team and John Mont and everybody else then then being part of this. You know, it was a real uh, um, a moment to be in the winners' enclosure for your for that flying yeah. dismount. The, I mean, the crowd, like the, everyone here, that won't be lost on them. Yeah. I mean, even despite the weather, we had a, a good turnout for, at the winner's enclosure and, yeah, it was a special moment. And there we were thinking you might be in Kentucky today, but you're here. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you're right. Uh, and I know I said all along, if I had a good Kentucky Derby horse, I would have rolled the dice, but it would have took a good one to take me off the child in. We're glad you're here. Well done. Subscribe to Racing TV's YouTube channel now to watch more great races like this.